Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these flower seed bead spring earrings. If you like them and you wanna see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free videos and have fresh ideas for your beading work. And a free way to support my channel is by liking, sharing and commenting and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And uh, uh, if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. If you want to see how colors change your work beyond recognition, this is another pair I did. So uh, have in mind that if you vary with colors, you will have so many different combinations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what you're going to need are three colors of 11-0 seed beads. I need here monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. I'm using scissors, flat nose pliers to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. So they are not obligatory because if you use regular beading thread that is flat, it easily goes through size 10 beading needle. No problem. And I use ear wires. Use any type of ear wires you want. And I will put um, one of my earrings here just to look at it as a pattern. Okay, and now I will put four feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.2 meters, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and now I have my thread on my needle, and I will start by taking 15 beads. Okay, and now I have my 15 beads here, and I will slide them down. Uh, for, for those of you who make a lot of um, beading, maybe it's strange that I start with 15 beads because usually all the works are started with even number of beads and not with odd number. But you will see how in my next row I will add even number of beads. So they will be 16. In this way I will make the symmetry of my model work just fine. Okay, now <clears throat> in my next step, here I made uh, something like a circle by making a loop. And I will go through some beads in this direction. Now, what I want to do is take two orange beads. And I have my two oranges here. And as I'm exiting from this blue bead, I will go back in circle through the same blue bead. Just like that. And I'm pulling. Then I will go through my following bead, through my next blue bead. And I will take one white bead. Okay, I have it here. And I'm going inside this orange bead and through the same blue bead. Again, something like backwards and in circle. Then I will go through my next blue bead. And what I want to do is take one white bead. And why I'm taking one white? Because I want to alternate two uh, orange beads and two white beads until the end of this circle. Okay, so next one that is coming is orange. I'm going through the white and in one movement through the next blue. You could do it in two movements the way I showed you before. So now I'm after this blue bead, the following one. Okay, and I need one more orange. And I will go through the following two, through this one and through the following one. And it's faster when you do it in one movement, okay? Then I will take one white bead, 
go back through the orange and through the following two. Okay, fix it a little bit. And I need one more white bead. Okay. And now I will continue doing this until I come up to here. And when I'm here, I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here after this blue bead. And I will take one white bead and I will go back in circle through this white and through the blue one. And this way I'm adding my last bead from this row, okay? Then I will go through this orange one here. And I, I want to connect it to the white one. by going back and forth. I want them to sit right next to each other. And then I will start my next row. And in my next row I will be adding only orange beads. I will take two orange beads and go through this orange one. Okay, then I will go through this white one in this direction. Okay, then here I will take one orange bead and go through the white one in direction to the center of my work. Then I will go to the outside, just like that. Then I will take two orange beads and go to the center of my work. Then through the white one and to the outside. Okay. And I need one more orange. Where the whites are, I'm adding only one orange. And where the orange beads are, I add two orange beads. Okay. And I will continue this. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I'm back and I'm here where I'm adding my last orange bead, just like that. And I will go through these two orange beads in my next, in my next row. And I will take two orange beads, go down through these two oranges and go up through this white one. Okay, and now I'm going to take five white beads. Okay, here are my five. And as I'm exiting from this white bead, I'm going through the next white one. Okay, and I'm forming something like a flower here. Okay. Then I'm going through the next two orange beads, taking two orange, go down, I'm into the center, okay, then go through this white one in this direction. Then guess what? I need five more. Here are my five white beads and as I'm exiting from here, I'm going in my next white bead. Okay.
then go through those two orange beads and continue this two orange go here five whites two orange five whites and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and i have my last five white beads here pulling fixing then i will go through those three beads then i need blue bead go through these two orange beads then i wanna go inside my flower here Keep the top one and the following after that. And now I need two blue beads. In this row I'm going to add only blue beads. Between the flowers and this orange part here, I'm going to add two blue beads. And here at the top of the orange, I will add one blue. then two more blue beads going here one bead before this central bead at the top of my flower here then skipping the top and the next one and adding two more blue beads going through the orange And a blue one going here, two blue beads, and through the flower. And I will continue these guys until I come up to here and then I will show you what's coming up next. Okay, and I'm up to here where I should ask my last two blue beads and I will go to this central bl blue one in order to add them. Okay. I will take two beads just like that and go through these yellow beads. Now I'm exiting from one of my flowers and what I need to take in my next step are five more orange beads. And I have my five here. And as I'm exiting from this white one, I will go through the blue one that's sticking out. Now this is what I have. Then I will take five orange beads and I will go through the top white one of my flower then again five through the blue one five more okay go through here I think you get the idea so off camera I will continue this and I'll be back when I come up to here you could pause this video continue and meet me after a while okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and I will continue in my next row okay I will go here at my middle bead so three beads away from here but this is my middle bead because here I have two here I have two beads and now I'm going to take two white beads and go go around in circle through this middle bead 
just like that and this really reminds of the first row that I did oh no I mean the second row after the first blue one the second row I did it almost the same way there are slight differences that I'm going to show you okay and I'm taking another white bead and I'm going through this orange bead in circle and then I'm going through this orange bead and taking one white bead then go through the orange one and you see how this white bead sits on top of the blue one so here in this step the blue one I will skip and I won't add another bead over it because um, it's um, it's easier to do it this way okay okay and now I'm taking one white bead and I'm going through the following orange so practically I'm skipping this one that is here at this decrease or depression I don't know how to to say this and um, I'm going in my next orange bead taking one white bead going back through the orange and through the following one then one more white go back through the orange and through the following and one more and go here through this orange and here I want to add a blue one go back through this white and through the orange one and why I want a blue one because here I have white and I want the color difference here I have blue so I'm leaving the white one okay this is just my decision you could do it differently of course with the colors always you could vary with the colors and again this one I'm skipping and I'm uh, going through the next orange and then through the blue taking one white and through the blue and through the orange again so this is what I basically do then I'm going through the orange one and I'm taking one white bead and going through the following orange and this is how I'm going to continue the only difference from the, the second row that I show you is that I'm skipping uh, this one here I'm not adding any bead over it but um, and here where I have white I add blue bead this is the only difference so continue doing this and I'll meet you here and now guys I'm here and I'm going to show you how to, I'm finishing this here I'm exiting out of this orange bead you see where my thread is and I'm going back through the white one and through this orange like I did before this white one I'm only going through it I'm not adding any beads above this because this blue one sits perfectly above it and I will take one white bead go back through this blue and through the orange one okay then I want to go through my next orange and through this white here you could do it in two movements if you want then I want to connect these two white beads okay and now the only thing I need to do is at my ear wire okay 
I'm going here through some bits in this direction. Okay, and I will take two seed beads, my ear wire, and then again two more seed beads. So this is so this is what I have on my needle. And I will go through this white one in this direction. Okay. Now I will go one more time around those beads or two more times. And um, when I go through here two times off camera, I'll be back to show you how to make your knots. Okay guys, and I went uh, two more times around here, but I don't feel the need to make you watch me do this. I'm sure you could do it by yourself. And I will choose a place here somewhere to make my knot and I'm making a loop. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I'm started my knot from and I will go through my next seed bead and I could cut my thread now or I could make several more knots and then cut my thread. Okay guys and when I repeat those steps one more time this is what I have. I have a beautiful pair of spring flower seed bead earrings and don't forget that when you change colors you have a completely different piece of jewelry, uh, change beyond recognition. So you could write with the colors and I will be really happy if you send me pictures on my Facebook page. If you still haven't subscribed, uh, please do so and uh, click the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. This way you won't miss anything new and fresh ideas. And this is all from me. Bye-bye.